curry chicken and white rice or curry chicken and roti which is your favorite go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know which is your fave hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll take you guys back in the kitchen with me and we are going to prepare some amazing curry chicken together go ahead and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you can always be notified whenever i upload a new video Tell your friends and your family members about Kelly J's Kitchen and help them subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kelly Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kelly J's Kitchen. So here I have my chicken, it's already clean and washed. And guys, just a note, if you're going to curry your chicken, you want to chop them up in some smaller pieces, all right? I will then go ahead and add the curry powder and you can use any curry powder of your choice. I know some persons have preference when it comes on to curry. They like the better pack curry. However, if you're unable to get the better pack curry, you can always go ahead and use Indian curry. Or what you can do if you have the Indian curry and you have another brand of curry, you can always go ahead and mix them up well. Once I add the curry powder, I will just mix that up nicely and then I'm going to go, go in and add the rest of the ingredients. Now, I'm going to add some garlic paste. If you don't have the garlic paste, you can always go ahead and use the regular garlic that you have at home that you can just chop up. Now, this garlic paste is from Home Choice. Home Choice is a local brand here in Jamaica. And they do sell different sauces and all of that goodness. You can always go ahead and check them out. And make sure you give their, their, their garlic paste a try. So once I add the garlic paste, I will go in, add some chicken seasoning. I will add some onion powder, some garlic powder, some black pepper. I will also add some paprika. Of course, I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning. And then I'm going to mix that up well. I also went ahead and chopped up some onion, skelly and thyme. And of course, I'm going to add a piece of scotch bonnet pepper to this as well. You can always go ahead and prepare this for dinner. You can always prepare it for um, lunch. Some persons here in Jamaica, they tend to prepare the curry chicken for breakfast. I mean, you have different options when it comes down to curry chicken. So you can always make it for dinner, breakfast, lunch, whichever works perfectly fine for you and your family. So now I'm going to go in, add the chopped onion, skelly and thyme. And of course, I'm going to add the scotch bonnet pepper. Mix that up well. And then I'm going to cover it and put it aside for roughly about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to come back and start preparing our curry chicken. Now, I'm going to add some of some more of my chicken season to this just to bring out the flavor and the taste. And you don't need to add any salt to your curry chicken. All right, because with all of those powdered seasoning, it contains a lot of salt already. So no need to add salt to this. I will be serving up my curry chicken with some white rice. So you can always have an option. You can cook the white rice or you can cook some um, roti. And I do have these videos on my channel. You can always go ahead and check that out as well. So I put on my pot on the stove, add some vegetable oil, allow it to hot, and then I'm going to burn the curry. Now, when you're burning the curry, you can always go ahead and add a piece of ginger or you can add some garlic or some scotch bonnet pepper. All right. Remember now, remember now not to burn the curry too dark because you don't want that to be too bitter or anything. I will then go ahead now and add my chicken pieces. And once I add the chicken pieces, I will just cover it, turn my stove on low to medium heat, and allow that to cook for roughly about 15 minutes. And guys, you don't need to add any water. Allow the chicken to spring its own water, all right? I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box. You can always go ahead and check that out. And remember guys to leave a comment and let me know what you think. And remember to share this video with somebody that you know want to make some amazing curry chicken. And just have them follow along. So this is what my chicken looks like after 15 minutes. It started to spring its own water. So we're just going to mix that up well. 
and then we're going to cover it and allow it to cook down nicely once it's almost finished cooking we're going to come back and add some more onions kelly and thyme and all of that good and we're also going to add one more scotch bonnet pepper guys i didn't need to add any salt i didn't add, need to add any more seasoning to this it was just perfect so this is it my curry chicken almost finished cooking so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna go in and of course mix that up well and of course the gravy starts to thicken you don't need to add anything to your gravy just leave it let, let it cook you don't need to add any cornstarch just leave it all right let it cook down nicely so we're gonna go in add some more of the thyme and some more of the onion and the scotch bonnet pepper mix that up well and the same bowl that we seasoned the chicken in we're gonna add a little bit of water because you want to get all of that seasoning out of the bowl and then we're gonna pour it all over our, our chicken now as you can see i didn't add a lot of water just a little bit once i add it i will just mix that up well and give it roughly another 10 or so minutes and then i'll come back and serve it up nicely and show you guys the final product so stay tuned for all of that goodness and of course guys you have to give this one a try so this is the final product of my amazing curry chicken really easy really simple so go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for your love and your support and i can't wait to see you guys on monday or on friday for another awesome recipe thank you guys so much again and stay tuned for some more amazing recipe bye guys